first chorus of someone like you. I thought I saw my kid, but it turns out it wasn't, so... <laughs> I was looking in the wrong box. <laughs> and then I missed the beat, because I think was why you look like, what the hell's going on? Anyway, let me get my mic stand. That song always makes me sweat. Oh, God. Now, I did, um, I, I, went, I just got back from LA, like, about five days before the Brits, I got back from LA. Oh, it's nice, it's sunny, there's palm trees. Nowhere's quite like home though, and I mean that, that's not me trying to be like. Yeah, but I went to LA for the Grammys, and when I am, um, when, oh, hello. When I am um, on my last tour, like when, on 21, I had to have throat surgery, which was very tragic, but it gave me a brand new voice that I had to wear in, which was nice, because I could do lots, lots of different things with it. And apparently I can sing higher and lower now, although whenever I say that in public, I, I really fuck up and then I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I did that, and then when I've been coming back, any TVs I've done anything like that, of hello or anything like that, um, I've like been doing vocal warm ups, which is something I never did before, and it's something that not many artists do until they have an accident or an injury with their voice, because like I saw my vocal, I get my voice checked like whenever I'm in London on the tour, just to make sure, because I want to be good for everyone, and I want to last, you know, like I said, we've got like 93 fucking shows. My <laughs> idea. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. And um, so I get it checked and I was like, I don't know how I talked before, you know. I was drinking, I was smoking, also having a laugh. Like after a good show, you'd be like, let's have a party, yeah. Whereas now, when I leave the stage in a minute, I'll go on 12 hour vocal rest. It's boring, right? So like, I can't even like chat away about my show or anything. They do, they go out. I've seen a few of them with hangovers, so they can't be on my behalf. When I was in New York, I did this really fucking long story, so I've got to work out a way of telling it. <laughs> When I was in New York, I had this woman who did a warm-up with me. She gave me these crystals, and I was like, is it awkward? I'm not really hippie. <laughs> Great, thanks to my crystals. Anyway, like, being so nervous, I had them in my hand the whole time I was thinking about the show. My nerves are getting better. I'm really enjoying this run of shows that I've done so far, so I'm more desperate to get on stage rather than going to one and a half. Anyway, so New York was a great show. I was like, oh my God, these crystals. They don't give me luck. So I had the crystals, used them for everything, and then at that fucking Grammy performance, right? I lost my fucking crystals. It was the biggest disastrous performance I've ever had to date, right? So I was like, oh my god, these crystals, got me crystals. It's all been alright so far. It's all been good. Found me crystals. Damn it, I'm just telling you a little story about what goes on before, because also we thought we lost them before I came on, and I have to get in this vehicle to get to the stage. Like, I was telling you, use your imagination. I'm like, they all think I'm mad, and I meditate now. I mean, I'm literally turning into a hippie. One time, I got rid of them, just to make the story even longer. One time, years ago, I got reflexology, and they were shining lights into my feet, and again, I was like, what the hell is she doing? She's putting like a blue light on me, big toe, a green light on me, little toe. And I thought the whole thing was a sham, and then when I left, I was walking on air. <laughs> Amazing. I haven't had it since, we haven't got time, but it's amazing. But anyway, that was a long one, sorry, it really needs to me a bit longer. The next song I'm going to do... The next song... There is a curveball, so I've got to hurry up a little bit. The, um, the next song that I'm going to do... God, it's another one, fucking sorry. On my first album, right, each album I have, I find is summed up by one song. For me, not for anyone else. On my first album, for me, it was Hometown Glory. On my second, it was Someone Like You. And on this one, I felt like I was coming towards the end. All right, don't give it away. I was coming to the end of recording and I was like, oh my god, I haven't got the song that sums up the album for me. So I flew to LA, get some fresh air, it's like, see something new, meet some new people and stuff like that. And then two days of being there, I wrote this song. And I was so happy because, like I said earlier, I got baby blues and lots of us have had it. And it's nothing to be ashamed or scared of because you've just got to talk about it. I thought I was on my own because I mentioned it to my mate and she was like, yeah, I always feel like that. I was like, oh you just got to talk to your mates about it, alright? And, um, and I thought like, I thought, like none of me existed anymore. And um, then when I wrote this song, I was so relieved that a piece of me had come back to myself in a massive way. And it is my favourite song that I've ever written. It's so nostalgic and it, I see my life in a movie. And I know I'm not the only person. We've all got that song that when we listen to it on our, on our, on our, on our earphones, we're walking down the street in slow motion. <laughs> We've all got that. I still do that. And um, that is this song. And I would like to take a massive chance to thank you for saying hello to me when I came back and said hello to you because I was gone for a really long time. But thank you for that time because it means I can live a very normal life and I mean I do, I, I don't take it for granted, I, 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 I live a very normal life when I'm away from it.
and um, it means that I can write records that ain't one of those like I oh, like moan about being famous because they're boring. I've heard those records. <laughs> they're shit. So <laughs> I want to keep writing real records for you, and I need to have experiences. That's why I need my time away. And I'd like to let you into my past a little bit with these photographs. Thank you.
sure I have my baby. No one has ever seen them before until the show is, huh? I'm having a great time, like I said. They only let me out on the show days. <laughs> no, I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying my tour. Thank you for asking. It's very kind of you. We've come to the end. We've actually have come to the end. But before I come to the end, I, I will do the selfie thing along the stage. Bear with me, everyone at the back. I I'll start at this end. I'll start at this end. And I've got my spotlight. Find me up, find me up. Oh wow, ego, hello. Hi. Hello. I can't say hello, I've got to say hi. 